All right, so yesterday we got the size dark matter in multiplayer and they were not very good in there. Hopefully they're a lot better in zombies. So we'll be testing that out today while we get them dark aether. And I've also heard that this blueprint looks really cool with Pack-A-Punch. So I'm gonna be using that instead of the default one for today. And for our field upgrade, I think I'm gonna go with Aether Shroud. We might switch that to Frenzy Guard or Tesla Storm later, but right now we're starting with Aether Shroud. And as you can see, I have absolutely zero camos for this. This will be my first time using it in zombies. But well, there's no time to waste. Let's hop on Firebase C and get this done. All right, twin, hurry up and drop us off. I want to test these babies out. Okay, so obviously everybody knows by now that these swing super fast and that they have that insane jump. And as you may remember, there has been a few first room skips here on Firebase C that have been patched. The original one being like climbing up the window, getting onto there, doing all that. And then there was another one where you could just Aether Shroud teleport onto this little porch here and now that i've seen with the size that you can make a jump from here to there now i'm gonna attempt it i don't i don't know if i'll be able to make it i don't know if i'm supposed to melee while i'm doing it or not but we're gonna test it out okay first there's too many zombies you guys need to go okay the swing speed on this is ridiculous okay so this is just fists don't make it that far i bring out the size oh we did it let's go didn't you have to buy the first door take that peck now let's see if we can get Pack-A-Punch on by round four. Previously, I think the fastest you could do it was round five. But now that we have this whole first door skip, we saved that thousand points and we can get up here on round one. This is sick. I should have turned on the Rampage Inducer before I came up here, but I was scared I wouldn't be able to make the jump with those zombies going that fast. It's the start of round two and we're already camped outside the first reactor door. And I've also seen some Treyarch developers reply to the, the video going around of people skipping the first door and they said they have no plans on fixing it and to just have fun with it and i think maybe in previous iterations of the first door skip is that no zombies would spawn up here but it's looking like they all are but very far away got a bonus point there this is perfect all right let's pop this open let's get the boost to jump rail grind oh clean first try we got the first reactor on now i did shit on these a whole lot in the multiplayer video but i don't think a lot of people watched towards the end where i was saying i, I enjoyed the movement on them the design on these are really nice but it, they're just not very good in multiplayer like if you have to two hit somebody with a melee weapon that's it's not good but here in zombies we have the opportunity to make it better with pack a punch and just leveling it up through the armory stand so hopefully it's a lot better in here than it was in multi i'd pick up the pace if i were you pick up the pace pack you've never seen a round three second reactor hey leave the reactor alone and that is the reactor we have it all done kind of weird saying reactor so close together there grind the rail eh, i kind of hit the step there i'm not gonna count it Ooh, let's get it started come on is there really not enough zombies i think there's one more Ooh, dang. So it's not looking like we can get up by round five. I might have been a little too slow opening that first door. I, I could have kept some zombies alive, but we did get here a lot faster and we did save a little bit of cash and the reactor is done and we got our stroke camo. Easy. All right, we made it back to the village and as you can see, I'm not bluffing. This door is still closed and Pack-A-Punch is open. I can walk right over here. Easy. Grab this loose change. Can we upgrade? We can. Let's get it to green. I probably should have bought armor first. Armor is probably more important with these. I'm going to get these pack a punch one and I'm going to Aether Shroud and try to do the bunny Easter egg here. These also look really cool in Aether Shroud. Come on, bunny. A little faster, please. Please don't knock me, zombies. Okay. We only took one hit from that. Perfect. Oh, I didn't think about how I'm going to hit these bunnies. Come here. Oh, got it. Easy. Might as well get an elite kill in while we're here. Okay. These are a three hit on Mimics so far. Everything else still one hit. Come here, bunny. And here's our last bunny. Got him. Wait. Got him. Goodbye, Mimic. He showed me his ass before he left and gave me armor. Appreciate that, Mimic. Pop this open. Oh, we got the Reiki and our little free jug. Might as well pick up the Reiki. Why not have it? A sign of good luck. Oh, and look at this. I let us skip the first door again by spawning us up here. But I think to spice it up, I'm going to turn on the Rampage Inducer. I should probably get Quick Revive or something first, just in case. Oh, I don't have enough yet. Okay, let's save up our money, and then we can do that. Oh, max ammo. Thank God. Oh, there's our acidic camo. Easy. And okay, now we got Quick Revive. Let's start up the Rampage Inducer. Let's see if I can make the jump. If not, we might be stuck here. Come on. No, I missed it. Oh, and they're a lot faster now. Hold on. One more time. They're not going to cut me off. No. I got to be able to make it up. I got to. 
Oh, I did it. Let's go. I guess I don't even really need to now that I can go up here. Oh, no. These zombies are blocking me. Oh. They're cornering me. Get away. This thing swings so fast. It's ridiculous. We can actually just demolish this round. Okay. We still have one zombie left, so I'm going to take that time to get another perk. Let's see. Let's get stamina up. Zombie, get away. Please. All right. And now that we have that, we can also grab an ammo mod. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's get dead wire. Oh my God. They're right behind me the second I left the menu. We need to leave. Oh, that's a mimic. Holy shit. I'm out of here. We can make the jump from right here. No, we can't. I missed it. I forgot to do the one thing I needed to do, and that's jump. Looping back around. Okay. All right, we're out of here. Now we're heading up to Colonel's, and let's see if we can survive in there. This is probably not the best spot to be with a melee weapon. But if it starts getting too crazy, we can always leave. I think melee weapons, we can be a free spirit with them. Also, there's our glacier camo. 125 kills. Oh, another max ammo. We're saved. Come on, zombie. 360? Oh, I missed it. I think I'll keep Aether Shroud until I'm fully maxed out. Then I'm going to switch to Frenzied Guard. But then again, I don't know. Because if the zombies get too much for me, I want some sort of way out. And I know Frenzied Guard takes forever to build up. Also, we got a Gunrunner camo there. I even might put on Toxic Growth. There's so many choices. So if I put on Toxic Growth, I can just put one by the window and the door. And whenever they come up, they'll get slowed down and I can get those free kills. And then also, if I'm behind on my Jackrabbit medals, I can get Shatter Blast. It's like there's too many choices. Oh, a lot of zombies. Just gotta keep swinging. Double points. Let's go. Regeneration camo. That's 125 while it's Pack-a-Punch. This makes rounds go by so fast. The Rampage Inducer and the Swing Speed is insane together. Okay, also, while we have a few seconds here, this is what they look like with Pack-a-Punch 1. Honestly, not that bad on this. Don't want that nuke. Y'all can keep the nuke. I'm literally just sitting here swinging. If they hit me, they're dead. There's our grudge camo. We're already like a quarter of the way there. A third of the way there, actually. It's only 750 kills with this thing. Oh, another double points. That's what I like to see. Bring it, Mimic. Okay, you can take a lot more damage than I thought you could. But there's our scavenger camo. That's four special or elite zombies down. It's so hectic in here. Oh, my Lanta. Okay. Deadwire might have just saved us there. There we go. Insta-kill. As if these things weren't already instantly killing. Let's go. We just went through two rounds in like 20 seconds there. I have so much cash on me too. Oh, there's our Sunder camo. I come from a land down Sunder. Not a nuke. No, I got lunged into it. All right, well, I might as well take this time to run back and get another pack a punch and some few perks. Okay, I got to think quick. What do I want first? Perks or pack? I feel like I should get perks. Let's grab those. Let's get speed cola. We don't really need it. Uh, these. We honestly don't really need too much with this. Well, let's get pack two. Why did my melee weapon stay the same? Can I hit it again? Oh, and that is our assault wave. Man, I know meleeing the pack punch machine makes it so like your camo stays, but I don't remember hitting it earlier. Like I just hit it 18 times there and we're stuck at pack two or pack one. That's unfortunate. All right, we're a little behind on our assault wave, but it doesn't matter. These things are fast enough to keep up. I want to see how far of a jump I can get from up here. Oh, really far of a jump. I think next time we go back to pack a punch, we're going to get shatter blasts. Leave it alone. All of you, leave it alone. I should, I should probably upgrade my armor after this round, too. Oh, got an Aether Shroud. There we go. And that's another camo. Oh, two camos. Three camos. Any more? That's what I thought. You know what? I'm going to go get Shatter Blast right now. Deadwire is helpful, but I feel like now Shatter Blast is just going to be a beast. Okay, let's Aether Shroud so I can get Shatter Blast on here. We have a little bit of time. Should I get a different perk? I guess I'll get Tombstone. Oh! Shatter Blast might have just saved my life there. I gotta remember that this is Rampage Inducer. There's no time to fuck around. All right, now that we can get everything funneled into a straight line, Shatter Blast is about to go crazy. Okay, maybe not when I only hit it on one zombie. Oh, get off of me. Mimic, fuck off. Okay, there's one zombie left. I'm gonna use this opportunity to go and upgrade my armor. Okay, here we go. Armor level two, three. We can get blue on this. And I think that's good. Oh, there's a Mangler buddy. Come here, pal gone. Oh, we didn't even do the most important thing. There we go. Bring it, zombies. Oh, there's a lot of them. So many. I'm swinging my way through. Oh, I got an Aether Shroud. Oh, wait. No, I don't. I'm too much of a beast. I have no idea what just happened there. I'm just standing in a pile of bodies now. Like an actual huge heap of bodies. Oh, here, you can join the pile. 
Oh, max ammo. We're saved. Holy. This is kind of fun. It's very satisfying to just sit here and like spam. I don't have to worry about headshots. I just need them to walk into me swinging. And it does all the work for me. There's our bloodshed camo. We're already almost done with these. Oh, and free armor. Thanks for delivering it. This has been the easiest rampage inducer I've ever done. Last time I said it was, and it's gotten even easier now. I literally don't have to do anything but click. There's our drench camo. That's 500 kills while it's pack a punch. They are getting a few hits in now, which is uh, not very good. Oh, and now we're already on our last assault wave, or at least our last assault wave before Orta. Let's repair our armor. Let's see if we can get pack a punch three. We definitely have enough for it, but I'm hoping the camo changes. Please change. Yes, let's go. Okay, unfortunately, we didn't get to see pack a punch two, but this is what pack a punch three looks like, and this is beautiful, especially with this blueprint, how the wrap looks on it. Ah, uh, and I almost forgot I didn't buy that door and I'm gonna refuse to buy it in the future. So I'm running around. It's already taking a little bit of damage. Let's see if I can make it there in time to save it. Leave it alone. Oh, look at Shatter Blast go. Wait, these zombies seem really slow for a rampage inducer. I'm just spawn camping them now. Is it just you three left? Bam, bam, bam. Oh wait, there's still more. Doesn't matter. These things are kind of busted. How can something be so vastly different in multiplayer than it is in zombies? These things are animals and zombies. And then multiplayer, literally anything else is better. A gun butt does more damage. And we've completed the rampage inducer with little to no problems. That's just how we do things around here. And I think now I'm switching to frenzied guard. I think that'll help me replenish my armor without having to leave. We might get into some tough situations when we don't have it loaded, but we have stuns. I wish every field upgrade let you store two of them. This Aether Shroud does it, and it's such an underrated feature of that field upgrade. We are kind of struggling on our jackrabbits right now, though, I feel like. Next round, I'm going to train them up, and then I'm just going to let Shatter Blast do all the work. If you look closely on the side, though, you can see the little bumps on them. It looks like they got eczema. All right, let's train them up. We can do it right here. Get some jackrabbits done. Okay, I'm gonna just keep running until it looks like there's 20 zombies. That might be getting close. Might as well just get them all, you know? Let's frenzy guard. Make sure that we get the ones that are all close together. There we go. That seemed like a hefty amount. It's extermination. There's our rotten camo. We're all done with kills. Did we get a jackrabbit there, though? I don't think so. Guess I'll just loop again. Lots of zombies spawning now. Let's do one of these. Stun. Shatter blast, please. There we go. I definitely got hit in the middle of that, though. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to hit this mangler that gets stuck. Guess I'm going to have to throw nades at him. Doesn't seem to do too much, though. So I have to use three Semtexes, four Semtexes on him every round. That's going to be tough. And because of that, I think I'm going to train around Helipad over here. We almost have, like, the entire round's worth of zombies trained up right here. Training this game is kind of stupid easy. I'm literally just running in a circle. All right, here's our last straggler. We got them all in. Let's stun the entire round of zombies. Shatter Blast. Let's go. And a max ammo. Okay, there's our chemical camo. Let's stun them again. Try one of these out. Shatter Blast, if you may. Okay, maybe not this time. There's our corrosion camo. There's our wasteland camo. We gotta be so close to Dark Aether already. Another stun. There's Shatter Blast. Taking names. Let's stun again. Just to make sure that we don't get hit while we're doing this. When I'm running with these, it almost doesn't even look like I have them out. You can just see little... It looks like my I have, like, really long pink nipples that are just flopping around. Hold on. Let's do it without face cam. Just look at look at these nipples flying around. I'm so stupid, dude. All right. We have yet another big train. Let's stun. Okay. Let's stun myself. We'll actually stun this time. Look at Shatter Blast go. Oh, they didn't even get too many. There's an amphibian camo. I can't remember what the last one is. I thought corrosion was, but I, uh, apparently I'm wrong. Let's get another big group going here. This mangler is going to destroy our train, so I'm going to destroy him. All right. Stun. Shatter Blast, please. Not quite. Okay, let's stun again. Now Shatter Blast, please. There we go. There's Boundary. We did get another Jackrabbit medal there. Okay, stunning again. Oh, uh, of course you're gonna knock them all over, but we got another bloodbath camo. Let's frenzied. Take out the mangler. Take out the rest of these guys. And that's the round. And another jackrabbit medal. Let's go. Is that everything? Oh, we gotta be super close. Unless I'm missing a critical camo. Because I did not take a deep look at them. This seems to always happen when I do melee weapons. Is I I'm like, oh, I don't need to look at the camos. I know what I'm doing. And then I I forget like a, a very specific camo that I need to do. I think we have all of our kills. I have all of our pack punch kills too. And we got to be close on our jackrabbits. If not, already have it. I feel like jackrabbits always the last thing I get done. There we go. There's threshold. Oh, maybe it's the, the stun ones I still need to get. Or at least I'm kind of knocking out two birds with one stone here. Shatter blast. Nope. 
And Shatter Blast. Right now. Right about now. There we go. Perfect. All right. Quick little stun. Shatter Blast. Let's go. That was huge. There's our contamination camo. We got to be missing the stun one. There's our banished camo. Is that everything now? No. Hold on. I'm looking up these camos. Oh, I need to get kills with Frost Blast, Ring of Fire, or Aether Shroud. So I need to switch back to Aether Shroud. Dang. I thought I was just doing that because I was scared of getting knocked down. I always forget there's some sort of challenge with those. I knew I was forgetting something. At least I looked it up. Uh-oh. Stun! Throw the stun! We gotta fight our way out of this. We're surrounded. Oh, we still made it out without going down. Absolute insanity. Okay, Aether Shroud is almost filled back up. I can't believe I forgot about that. It wouldn't be a melee weapon video if I didn't forget. Oh, also, 69,000 points. Sex. Okay, our Aether Shroud's built up. I'm gonna train these zombies up, stun them, hit Aether Shroud, and try to get as many kills as possible. All right, let's try it. Stun. Aether Shroud. Kill. Let's go. That was so many kills. What are you running from? There's our boutique camo and our mana camo. That's crazy. I actually got Jackrabbit done before anything else. But it's kind of stupid how Ring of Fire is one of the field upgrades that you should use for this challenge. Like, it gives you three options. Ring of Fire, Aether Shroud, and Frost Blast. Like, why not Frenzied Guard? I feel like that's perfect for melee weapons. We almost have another one built up. I'm gonna get a few kills till I do. Okay, we got it. Let's stun them in place so they can't run away. And then easy Aether Shroud kills. Okay, any camos there? No, we might be a few off. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. Dang, that's still not it. Am I missing something? Maybe I need more stun kills. This is why there needs to be a camo tracker like in game. So I could be like, oh, that's what I need. Let me just grab that instead of having to like actually look it up. But to be fair at this point, with the amount of weapons I have left for Dark Aether, which is one after this, I should already know. Because we already have our manic camo. So that means we're done with the Aether Shroud kills. We just need stun kills or maybe elite kills. Let's do this. Kill the zombies that are stunned. I feel like we've killed so many stunned zombies. There's no way. Okay, Aether Shroud. Let's try that out. Out, maybe we still need jackrabbits. I'm so lost. Okay, there's glitch camo. Is that it? No, what? All right, now I'm for sure lost. Okay, I just looked at it. Glitch is not the last the last uh, jackrabbit medal. I'm so all over the place this video. I thought I had jackrabbits done. I was even talking about how I had them done before Aether Shroud. But it does not look like it. So let's do this. One more stun. No, Mimic, come on. You fucked up the jackrabbit, dickhead. And just to make sure, let's Aether Shroud it up. Is that it now? All right, we got to be like one or two kills off of another jackrabbit. There it is. No camo though, so we might need another jackrabbit. Give me jackrabbit, please. Another stun. That's another jackrabbit medal. Oh, there's gold viper. Let's go. We did it. This whole video has been like a kid on a road trip asking if we're there yet. And we're finally there. But good thing I was, I was dumb enough to buy myself some time to get to round 30 so we can see how these things do against Orda as well. You know what? I'll hit the nuke. Bring Orda on. I would like to have a word with Orda. Mangler, please stand down. Dang, still no Orda? Come on. Let's do a little nade. I don't care how many zombies I kill right now. I'm just trying to get to Orda. Let me speak to your manager. There you go. You need a Gersh device. These things are so busted and a nuke. Easy. Still no Orda? Not the time to be dodging me, Orda. Just don't want these hands. There we go. Now we got Orda. Before we take him on, though, let's go ahead and get this all the way up to gold. There's purple. There's gold. I'm also going to buy another Gersh. Get a few more Semtexes because it's just going to be me and Orda here. We have two Aether Shrouds ready. He's going down. The only problem is I won't be able to hit him until he like actually steps foot in here. So we're going to have less time. But I can sit here and fight the zombies until he gets here. You can also use an artillery strike if we need it. Here he is. There's our big strong man. All right, here come the zombies. Shatter Blast going in. We're just buying time right now. Making sure that this thing stays alive long enough for me to fight Orda. Yeah, scream all you want. You'll be screaming even more once I'm up there. Yep, send in your hellhounds. They're not going to help. I'm throwing a Gersh. Everybody get in there. Come on, Orda. Is that all you got? Why don't you come fight me like a man? Alien zombie creature thing, whatever you are. He's almost in. Mangler, you need to leave. I'm putting the artillery strike down. Come on, Orda. One more foot. What are you scared of? Get in here. What, you got cold feet? Yeah, keep shooting your hellhounds. There's literally no more zombies. It's me and you, pal. Yeah, you can shoot that thing all you want. You're gonna have to come in here and fight me eventually. What is going on? There we go. You finally stepped in. All right, Aether Shroud. You can't stomp on me on Aether Shroud. Okay, these things are not doing very well against them. They li they're literally doing nothing. I'm doing as much as I can. 
I'm hitting him right in the toes. Uh, Gersh device, maybe? Does that help? Does that do anything to your order? Can you feel that? Okay, that just teleported me away. I don't think there's any chance we take out Orda. But this thing does kind of slap against zombies. We literally made it so there's zero zombies in the round. All right, well, that was all I was really waiting for. So uh, there's no X-Fill. There's uh, some zombies coming around, but don't care. Didn't ask. I'm some texting myself. Go ahead, give me Mimic. That's all you, pal. Well, that was a little scuffed, but we ended up coming out of here with Dark Aether. We did get a chance to try it against Firebase Z Orda. It did not do anything, but these Psy are pretty nice and zombies. Fully packed, fully leveled up. They do extremely well. The added jump boost helps a lot. Helps us skip the first door. Helps us get power on way faster. So yeah, these are miles and miles better than they are in multiplayer. Now, all that's left is for us to just sit here and bleed. 1,752 kills. A lot of that's probably Semtech and our Gersh devices, but we didn't go down a single time until we forcefully put ourselves down there to end the game. Pretty good, I'd say. And as you can see, we got every single camo for the size in just that one game. Melee weapons, pretty easy to do in zombies here, even if you do forget the challenges. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what the zombies mastery camos look like on the size. Here is Gold Viper. Honestly, not too bad on this. Can't really see it too much from here, but it's it's not bad for me. Like Diamond looks very, very nice. Uh, like the normal Diamond, the wrap there is the secondary color, and it looks really nice as a secondary color. The whole thing's iced out, very clean. And this is Dark Aether. Actually, I don't know how I feel about this, because most of the coverage it's showing here is this really dark area where it kind of just looks like obsidian with like a purple outline which i don't like too much i like more of this very light pink purplish so hopefully it looks better in game let's go check it out all right this is what the size look like with dark aether in game and yeah it looks like my worst fears came true you can't really see too much of that extra light camo this is all just that that really bland just obsidian looking type maybe if we wait a second okay now it's getting a little bit of color in there i guess it looks all right with the more color in it the better it looks these are very thin so you don't really get too much coverage difference on it but right now they're looking pretty snazzy but that's where i'm gonna have to end the video uh these were actually way more fun and zombies than they were in multiplayer to do like eight times faster as well but if you like this video and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week and that's going to be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later